And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today we got some pretty cool news, some pretty cool content ish stuff coming up. So, first, guys, we have a Madden Bowl game day bundle, which I do want to go over. We do get some players out of that, some players to choose from. Typically, you guys know how these work, it's based on the real life madden the you know the madden championship and players that were used in that run so it is pretty cool more than likely gail sayers from jokes run as his uh, premier running back throughout the whole thing we also got some mutt rewards coming which are pretty cool especially the ones that are coming and also guys as you guys do know before i get into all the news mutt reward oh, i'm on word sorry fan appreciation packs will be resetting i believe friday which is cool which means we'll be doing another fan appreciation pack for the channel guys i feel like this is how i'm gonna pull a golden ticket it's got to be those packs. I don't think there's any other way. I'm going to open up a few more packs in today's video, of course. Just to get a quick little refresher, see if we can pull a golden ticket. But if we're going to pull one, it's going to be out of those packs. Now, do I think we're going to pull one? I've had high hopes all year for a big pull. Sadly, our best pull all year has been a 94 overall and a 100 Deion Sanders. But that was in uh, May, so not as cool as if I pulled it back in November. We're still working on it. But guys, before we get into today's video, get to the packs, get to the Mutt Rewards, get to the Madden Bowl and everything else. Make sure to blow, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to boys, come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always, and if you haven't already, go down below. Comment down below what you guys think, are you guys excited for the Mutt Rewards? We guys be opening up the Madden Bowl pack, and that's pretty much it. So let's head on into this as this thing loads up. And guys, by the way, about the rewards for the giveaway from the other day, that video is so many comments, like, has like 400, 500 comments. I'm working my way slowly through them. I'm down to like 30 or so jokes. I gotta work them down and vote on them myself individually. Maybe show a few people, get a consensus. Some of them, I don't think are, I can't even put them on the channel because of their, uh, their R rating. So I have to limit some of those. But trust me, some of them are funny, although I can't say they were funny. But I gotta, I, I'm still working my way through them. But let's head into Ultimate Team right now and go check these out. So guys, I'm probably gonna start with a few packs, nice and early. See what we're getting with. But I wanna see the Madden Bowl before we do that. So let's go check out the Madden Bowl game day bundle. If it is out already, I know it will be coming out. We got our Twitch drop pack, which is weird because I don't even think I went on the Twitch stream today. So that's interesting. Um, maybe they just assume I'm there now. Nothing. Okay. So let's go to the store. See what we got in the store. Now, hopefully, if it is, if it does cost money, it doesn't cost too much because we know EA loves to do that. So it's a game day bundle. Is this right here? Yep. This should be at 2200 Okay, so it costs about 20 bucks, which isn't great. But you do get... One of the five coaches, a 97 overall player. Now, I believe this has to be the new one, right? Because 97 overall fantasy pack token. These items can be used. Yeah, I mean, it has to be this one. Although, I don't see Joke as a coach, which is kind of weird. Unless that's just predetermined uh, card art that they have for it. But it would be cool if you guys did, uh, if you guys had the money to pick this up and you guys wanted the free 97. Personally, would I pick it up? I don't know. If I would end up picking this up as a 97 overall worth 20 bucks at this point, you could probably get more coin value on a coin sponsor for 20 bucks than you can for a 97 nat overall card. That's just my opinion though. Now let's open some packs up before we talk about my rewards. I feel like there's oh game changers are in. Okay, so do we have any of those clutch packs still? Do I go clutch packs or game changers? 95 plus is 5.6. And then 95 plus is 5.0. No, ooh. Okay, so clutch seems to be the move, but how many how many players did we get? Five 82 pluses. Ooh, and 86 plus ooh okay we're gonna go one game changer here we're gonna be we're gonna, we're gonna go broke guys all the coins we spent on packs all right so we're gonna open up a game changer real quick this seems to have pretty good odds here all right i always forget what that thing is 84 bruce matthews it's nfl 100 is that a blitz 91 deandre hopkins kickoff that might be one of my other rarest cards I've ever pulled because if you remember back when this card first came out it was super rare i cannot believe that i pulled that now okay a draft card 86 evan ingram a legend and 88 80 bro okay that pack honestly wasn't that bad i'll, I'll take that probably a little 40k right there <laughs> it's sad to say but it, uh, it's the truth open up another one real quick see if we can get any other good pulls here another team of the week it, you, know, you guys understand the the like urge i have to call it a emerald card every time i see it i think of 2k for some reason veterans right there okay so we're gonna open up one more because obviously I, i'm feeling pretty good about that first pack but the second pack wasn't too great okay so we got a draft a super bowl card sorry 87 stefan was uh yeah no, i'm not even gonna try that 82 jacob hollister oh come on enough with those okay no more actually no no one more one more 
little 200k real quick one more that's it and then we're done we're gonna go over the more rewards low draft player that sucks high legend player i just said draft player sorry 87 taylor decker oh lord what's that oh okay team diamond or whatever team builders okay no more we're done we're done we're not gonna go broke here but guys Mo rewards as far as that goes. So those are our packs, guys. Just so you guys know, Mo rewards are gonna be very similar. We're gonna be getting free fan appreciation packs, or not not packs. We're gonna get fan appreciation content. So guys, there's multiple ways we can go about this. We can either get a fan appreciation player like we did last year. Last year, I believe we got like a 99 overall Juju Smith Schuster. Like it was either 96 or 99, or somewhere between there. If you guys don't remember, we got a Juju Smith. I feel like it was 99 though, and he was free just for being up just for fan appreciation and get a nap version of him. So that'd be super cool. So either we're gonna get a free 99 overall player. Or we're going to get free friend appreciation packs. Either way, either way, I'm not complaining because I'll take the free player or I'll take the free packs. I certainly do love these fan appreciation packs. They were ass, but the odds in them are absolutely great. So I would not be opposed to getting another one. Now, guys, these will be resetting on Friday. Now, as far as the Mutt Rewards go, when will that be dropping? Usually, Mutt Rewards are around like some big promo, typically. So I'm, I'm hoping that we get Mutt Rewards Friday and then maybe Positional Heroes drops Friday. But it's already Wednesday. I mean, they could always mention it tomorrow, which would be which would be possible too we get a positional hero type stream tomorrow hopefully and then we got the madden bull stuff obviously again i don't know if i'd open that now as far as fan appreciation goes when it does reset on friday which is another day another reason i'm thinking that we should be getting more i believe more packs in store friday hopefully it just resets the the remaining it doesn't actually go away but that's when i think we'll probably get the the fan stuff and we get the mud rewards now it will be based on your tier so remember it could be like if it's bitten okay it depends there could be two things. We could automatically get the free 99 overall player and then packs based on your tier. It could just be packs based on your tier, like one for this tier, three for this tier, four for this tier, or two for this tier. Or it could be everyone gets the player, you know, some people get the packs based on their tier. Or it could be you only get the player if you're high enough tier, which I don't think they'll do that route. That'll really piss people off. I think it's more than likely going to be either a guaranteed player or a pack based on tiers. That's more than likely the route they're going to go. And if they go both, they do both, just like I said, that would be better. We all get a player and then packs go based on tier, which that's more fair. And we all get a player, which I think will be perfectly fine as well. But I'm excited for those because I plan to buy some coins as well as go on ahead and take whatever's free. So if I can get five of coins again and then maybe two or three from my rewards, Total of eight. I think I'm pulling a golden ticket there. I think the odds are with me on that one. Hopefully. Obviously, time will tell. We still got time to check everything out. Now, guys, the fan appreciations have killed the market. So you do have to weather your expectations when it comes to what you pull. Because as you do know, with the way with people getting free, all these free packs, people opening these up, the market is taking quite a dip because it's just there's just an excess of things on the block right now. As you guys can see, things have come up a little bit actually since the last time we checked. But that could just be because of lack of filter. Like Michael Vick's already super cheap. Lamar Jacks is super cheap. It's good to have the golden ticket market. Obviously, that's very important right now. Those are the best of the best. Uh, yeah, they actually came back up a little bit because things were looking like they were gonna fall below one mil. But like Muhammad's new super cheap. Michael Vick 2.68 mil is really not that bad. Although I do want Lamar. That's kind of my dream quarterback for the rest of this year, quite honestly. But we do get a free golden ticket, so I don't know if I'll end up taking Lamar or if I should buy Lamar. No, I should definitely just take Lamar and then buy another golden ticket if I do wish to do so. But I'll probably end up taking Lamar. Because but the thing is, like, I know I could just get Ultimate Legend Vic, but they don't compare. Like, Ultimate Legend Vic cannot pass maxed out. Like, Lamar's gonna be a perfect passer, a perfect runner. He's gonna be, he's gonna be oh, he's a cyborg. He's the perfect quarterback. So, in terms of that, guys, the market, well, back to what I was saying about the market. The market's still gonna be crashing. Uh, fan appreciation killed even more. So, if you guys have stuff to sell, probably sell it now. And then if you could open those packs, wait a few days, and sell it again. But I don't think that selling the day of the fan appreciation packs is ever the best idea because you guys already know how that goes. Things are just crazy, crazy, crazy cheap at that moment in time. And people just start spam selling it. It, just, it doesn't work out for anyone. I'm telling you guys, you can do what you got to do. But I'd have to advise against selling the day of the fan appreciation. Like I said, my rewards, I project would be probably Friday. Mad Madden Bulls are already out. And guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Should be the only video today. Not much to go over. I forget how late we are in the year. Like sometimes it's crazy to think it's literally May 20. It's May 20th. Had this been last year, Madden was so dead at this point, and we would be looking at the new game in about two months exactly. Just about two months exactly. Hopefully, we're looking at the same timeline again. Some leaked things did say like August 3rd or whatever, but if you remember, we always get it five days early if you reserve pre order the game. So we're probably looking at like a little bit earlier but we really just have to see it really depends on what happens with the game 
I hope comes out the regular time because I'm looking forward to it. But who knows, guys? But that's about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell. Boys, come to the family. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Marvel Awards. I'm out. Peace.